Hey, Alarak. What now? Why are they called corruptors? Surely it's because their attack is a parasitic spore, right? And not because when I build them I'm compelled to make irrational or malicious decisions, right? The Corruptor is the Zerg's supreme air-to-air -air combat unit, specializing in an anti-capital ship role. As I will discuss in a moment, they do have other uses, but their primary function is aerial supremacy. They are morphed from larva, but require the presence of a spire on the map. Now for the stats. Corruptors have an impressive 200 health and 2 armor, an attack range of 6, and deal 14 damage with each attack. However, they do gain a bonus of 6 damage for a total of 20 per attack against any targets that have the massive tag. In short, they're great versus things like battlecruisers, carriers, or your mother. Ship. Corruptors are relatively fast flying units, and they have a projectile attack, which means there is some potential for stutter step micro. When attacking into a force or chasing down enemies, you can keep the corruptors moving once they shoot their attack. Very helpful when chasing down fleeing ships. On to their abilities. The first is Caustic Spray, a channeled ability. This can only be targeted onto enemy structures. Once targeted, the Corruptor starts to, uh, uh, spit. Let's go with spit at the building. For 4.3 seconds, the spit will deal 7 damage per second, for a total of 30 damage. After the 4 seconds, though, the damage increases to an incredible 35 per second. Now that's some epic spit. Multiple Corruptors can use Caustic Spray on the same target. It gives them some potentially extra value. Say your Corruptors clear the skies of enemy ships. They don't have to just sit there and look pretty afterwards. You can tell them to go literally spit on your opponent after you crushed their fleet. The second ability is not really an ability, but it is worth mentioning. Morph to Broodlord. Once a Spire has been morphed into a Greater Spire, any Corruptor can then be turned into a Broodlord. I won't go into too much detail about the Broodlord. In short, it's a really enjoyable anti-ground siege unit, and it pairs well with Corruptors. Let us summarize the strengths of the Corruptors again. They are an air-to-air -air powerhouse, with the potential to give your structures quite the rash. However, they do have some weaknesses, including only being able to hit one target at a time, having to stand still for their caustic spray, and possessing the armored tag. Lastly, there's also the incredibly obvious point to be brought up. They're an air-to-air -air unit. Make a ground unit that can shoot up. Terran lovers, Corruptors are a perfectly normal response to a battlecruiser opener. The good news is that whether you transition into bio or mech, you have answers to the Wrigley Menace. Obviously, 
Marines shoot up and are disgustingly cost-effective. However, if you're knee-deep in a mech build though, just weave in some more Thors. Switch them into their 250mm Punisher cannon mode for extra range and firepower. If you have trouble preventing caustic spray, you can absolutely build a couple of missile turrets to buy time for your anti-air force to move around. As a final note, Vikings do technically outrange Corruptors, and they get a bonus to damage versus armored targets. So, Vikings can work with good micro, but I would not recommend it if you're not comfortable with that. Protoss, you have a choice to make when choosing what to combat Corruptors with. Presumably, you've been making something like Phoenix, Carriers, or Tempest to provoke the Corruptors. If you want to maintain an aura of air superiority, then what you need is Void Rays. Yeah, you heard me. We are in the legacy of the Void Ray expansion, after all. Jokes aside, the Void Ray is actually quite good versus armored targets, thanks to Prismatic Alignment, aka Death Thick Beam. If you want to transition into a ground force, however, you'd best call in the Templar. Blink Stalkers are fine, but both Psionic Storm and Archons are supremely helpful, given how often Corruptors cluster together. As with Terran, don't be afraid to get a few cannons or shield batteries to help out your buildings and inevitable house Archons. Zerg players, I honestly don't remember the last time I fought Corruptors in ZvZ. The only reason I can see someone investing in them is to counter Broodlords, or maybe to poorly fend off Mutas. Nonetheless, if you find yourself staring down a swarm of corruption, I would focus on Hydras and Spore Crawlers. Since Spores get a bonus to damage versus Biological, they are actually the best static defense option out of all the factions. Hydras, with their research options, can deal damage quickly and chase away the Corruptors when on creep. Plus, a bonus positive here, having more Hydras means you can make more Lurkers too, and who doesn't want that? A group of Corruptors may not be able to tilt their heads down to shoot ground targets, but they can absolutely tilt the scales of an air battle in your favor. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to check out the Patreon page if you're interested in supporting the channel and getting some sweet perks. The link is in the description below. Hope you have a great day.